Jennifer on the line. Jennifer is going to shame her husband. Hi, Jen. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for holding on while we did our little music thing. Not a problem. We appreciate it. All no right. problem. Yeah, now, Brian is your hubby, right? Correct. Okay. So give us a little idea about what's going to happen here. Okay, well, Brian's mom just moved up here um, from Georgia uh -huh. about a month ago. Up here being? Being in, uh, she lives in Belleville now. Okay, Belleville, Illinois. Right. Mm -hmm. And Brian hasn't seen her for years because she's um, disabled and had medical problems and couldn't get up here. Uh -huh. So... We pick we pick her up and bring her up here, and um, have a, we had a lot of problems with the realty company that um, that um, rented her the apartment. Um, electric wasn't turned on. The inspection um, was like a week later. Couldn't move in, so she, you know she had to stay with us. Uh -huh. And after the second or third day, we noticed that there was kind of an odor about her. Um, and she's a rather <laughs> large woman. Yeah. I, she's she's wonderful. I love her to death. But, um, Smell Brian, like bacon frying? <laughs> I don't know, but he thinks it's like a butt problem, and, and I kind of think it's just a body odor problem, you know. Well, he calls her Stinky Pete. That, that's his nickname for he his He calls mother, his own dear Pete. sweet mother Stinky, <laughs> Stinky Pete? Stinky Pete, absolutely. And um, we... I mean, it gets so bad that we have to, like, Febreze the, the, the you know, the place where she sat. Oh, and God. I mean, it's really bad. But you know, uh, the past couple of days haven't been too bad. Cover I, all the furniture with a hefty trash bag. Well, before you sit back down on the furniture, you have to put a blanket or something over the top Can you, of it. Like, have a talk with her about it. Or? Well, you know, it, it's a touchy situation. Yeah, no kidding. You know, and he doesn't. How do you tell know. Mama she smells? I, I don't. <laughs> I I, what do you say? You know. <laughs> well, we're going to take it from there, I guess, and we're going to call your husband, right? Yes, and you probably need to get the the little bleeper because he d is very upset with this realty company. Okay. Oh, hey, that's good. We won't need the big bleeper this time, Let just me, the uh, little bleeper. Hang That's on a good. minute. Let me get the little bleeper. Rob! <laughs> All right, here we go. We're calling Jennifer's husband, Brian. Concentrate. Rob on the dialing. Look it in. Concentrate. Rob's New Year's resolution to never misdial again on the Stephen D.C. Show. So far, he's 0-3. Yes, I'm looking for a Mr. Brian Davis, please. Uh, yes, Mr. Davis, good morning. My name is Mohammed Emil. I'm calling from Primary Realty in Trenton, New Jersey. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Uh, we are actually the parent company of Masters Realty in, uh, in your area. Okay. And uh, they have given us a call. Uh, apparently, I have heard that there have been some problems between you and the realty company. Yeah, and they they, uh, they don't just do anything for my uh, mother, who uh, I guess rents from Masters Realty. Right, right. Well, I I don't know much about it. They said that uh, that things got pretty tense between you uh, you and the realty company, but uh, th that's really not why I'm calling. Uh, we uh, we actually have a problem. Uh, as you know, there are other people in that live in the house that you have rented from Masters Realty. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, Masters has been getting some complaints. And uh, they all seem to be about the same thing. Uh, me or my mother? Uh, well, I don't know who lives there, but... Uh, my mother. Okay, but, well, from, from what I hear, uh, it doesn't smell very good. Uh, mm -hmm. There are problems in the hallway of the house... And uh, and we've actually got some comments here, and uh, I will read these to you uh, word for word, verbatim. Uh, the stench is peeling the paint off the wall. Uh, it uh, it smells worse than a naked fat man on a hot summer day. Now this is just very. We cannot have this in uh, in our building. Uh, Masters Realty is very upset. Uh, they said that you should have alerted them if there was a problem, an odor problem. They could have taken precautions, uh, like uh, putting extra charcoal in the air filters. Uh, they could have done that for you, but you did not let them know, and they are very upset about this. Uh, no, the whole we moved my mom in there. The whole place smelled like a nursing home anyway. Well, oh, no, it well uh, according to this, it does not smell like a nursing home. Uh, basically, the way we hear it, that stench could choke a snake. 
and and quite frankly, I mean that is just not the way we do business. Well, I, I we will I, have to do something about this. Well, I I, I went and I bought odor eaters at uh, Shop and Save. Okay, well, uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was taking my mom some groceries, but are you I, sure I, it's I, coming I from her feet? Anything, uh, ever since uh, she's. You know, Are you sure it's coming from her feet? It could be butt crust for all we know. I mean, uh, you may need some. I, you know, my wife and I talked about it too. I mean, we had her here at uh, we had her here at the house, and it it uh, it was bad at one time. But did you get some the, Febreze? Uh, she got to her own place and started showering and everything. So it, I never really smelled it anymore. Well, you for Christmas, and she was fine. I mean, she did stink at one time, but it didn't. Uh, well, it didn't smell that bad. I mean, she must be using Febreze in the laundry, and that is very good. She should keep doing that. Uh, but uh, just reading some of these complaints, they are not very nice at all. Uh, the Who's old, complaining? Well, we have had uh, the people who live in the building complain. There's only uh, four people, including my mom, that live in the building, and there's two that live on both sides of her, and there's one guy in the basement. Well, it is not you know, just I mean, that. He smokes cigarettes and cigars every day. It so, is I mean, not just that. People who come over and visit have been making comments, and these people have been getting embarrassed. One person wrote, the odor could knock a buzzard off a crap wagon. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I don't think it's very good. Um, I mean, I've, I've gone out, and I've bought her a good body wash and everything. I mean, real expensive stuff. Hoping that it would kill it. I mean, well, sometimes that works because uh, you know another person says it smells like teen spirit in there, and that is just not good for business. We have to take care of that, and and quite frankly, if we keep getting complaints, we are going to have to take measures. Well, I mean, not much I can do. I mean, I'm not going to bathe my own mother for Christ's sake. Even the superintendent of the building says every time he goes near the apartment, the odor burns his nostril hairs out. Well, his nostril here is probably burnt out anyway because he smokes cigarettes every damn day. I mean, you go that, down there and it smells like a f***ing bar. That is not up to me. That is not up to me. Uh, are, are you then filing a formal complaint? We will have stench wars right now if you want to. No, I mean, I'm not going after any stench war or anything, but I mean, if the man's going to bitch, I mean, he's got to take, take care of his own problems there. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. The stench peeling paint off the walls, that's going to cost us money. We cannot, cannot, cannot put up with that. And now you are complaining about the superintendent and well, him you know, smoking. Well, not only him, the other guy next to her. I mean, he's, he smokes all the damn day, too. And then the old lady that lives next door to her, I mean, Sorry. I don't know anything about her. I hardly ever see her. She sticks her head out every once in a while. It's like you are just a big complainer. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm just saying. I've taken it for my mom. Could I have you hold on? Hold it is, my... Amy. Amy. I'm doing business on the phone. I don't... I'm not letting him cause you on the line. I'm doing business on the phone. I'm not letting him cause you like that. I can't help myself. I tell you what, I can't help myself. You just stop. No, 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 no. You will not put the curse on him. He has been very nice so far. He has been very nice so far. I tell you what. I tell you what. You want You want to put the curse? Put put the curse on this man's mother's butt crust. I tell you what, you put the curse on that and maybe we can get rid of it. Amy, Amy, please, just let me handle this. Just let me handle I'm sorry, I have to work from home. My wife is uh, not well a lot. She's very incontinent, so I have to take care of her. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. Sometimes she just gets in the way. Amy, Amy, stop it. I am trying. All right, what do you want to do about my mother? I mean... Well, quite frankly, we've got to get rid of the stench. Uh, whether we shovel it out or you unload the fire hose on her or, or whatever you want to do. But we have to get rid of it. Uh, if you want to buy a charcoal underwear for her, maybe. Uh, we just, you know, extra What's baking your name? soda. My name is Mohammed Demil. I am calling with Primary Realty in Trenton, New Jersey. I tell you sometimes what works. If you put lots of extra baking soda in the laundry, that sometimes helps too. Uh, I don't do her laundry, so uh, you go ahead and you tell her yourself. If you got a problem, I'll give her your phone number and you call her yourself. I tell you, I don't pay her rent. I don't wash her clothes. I don't wipe her ass, and I don't do anything for her. All I do is make sure she's fine. She's my mother, for Christ's sake. I tell you what. I tell you what. The superintendent slip is just having major problems. He was almost knocked unconscious the last time he walked past our door. And frankly, his new name for her is Stinky Butt.
I ain't give a shit less what her so nickname for her is. And I mean, no cussing at my husband. Anyway, I don't want you cussing at my husband. If you cuss at my husband, I put cuss on you. Amy. Who the hell is that? That is very sweet. That is my wife, Amy. That's very sweet. I don't send that on this very sweet, now. but I, I do not need your help. Disney. Woman, I do not need your help. Disney. Woman, I do not need your help. Girl. See ya. That was so bad. That was cuss. How Sounds like dare you? Sounds for Christ's sake. Excuse me? Oh, hey. Sounds like a pig. Oh, Sounds like a pig? Sounds like a pig. Oh, hey. You should see Amy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. Yeah. Oh my. Say hi to your wife, Jennifer. Hello? Hello. You're on the Stephen D.C. Morning Radio Show. Uh, oh. Sorry, honey. <laughs> oh, good Lord. How are you? And we're having a little fun with you, Brian. Jennifer thought it'd be a great idea, and we agreed with her. Hey, you know what? It, it, it's funny. I mean, my wife and I joke about it all. <laughs> you have to laugh to keep from crying. Oh, my God. It was like below weather out. Below zero weather out. I had to roll down the windows in the car. To let the stench yeah. go out. This is like an episode of Seinfeld, the stench that won't go away, and it's oh, mama. Geez. You better be glad it's not July and about 110 degrees. Oh. I threw down carpet powder on top of the sofa where she sat and vacuumed it off. I was like, I right. tell you what, it smells worse than a truckload of dead rats in a cheese factory. Hey, it did, but she's getting better. Well, I hope it's not hereditary, Jennifer. I don't think so, as of yet. Well, good. Well, we're going to send you a copy of this in case you want to, like, send it to her anonymously. <laughs> stinky butt, stinky butt, stinky butt. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank thanks, you. Brian. See you. We had fun. All right, thank you. <laughs> You want to set up a sham, you can do that. You can do it on the website, real easy now, at stevendc.com, www.steveandc.com. Or you can still use the old phone numbers at 1-800-9-WAKE-UP. She must really have a problem. I tell you what, I'm going to buy stocking for Breeze right now. Stocking for what? For Breeze? Oh, for Breeze, of course. Hey, Shelly is on the phone with a sham update. We don't get this a lot, and it's it's good because sometimes you wonder, well, what happened after we hung up the phone? Uh -huh. Well, Shelly's going to tell us. Hi, Shelly. Hi. Now, Hi. which sham did we do for you? The UFO. Oh, yeah. oh on oh. your uh, parents. I swore my parents was, weren't crazy. And your dad's retired military. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're going to be on TV. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, talking about the sighting? Yes. When? Yes. Unsolved Mysteries Are contacted them. Are you serious? Them. Are you sure it wasn't another phone No. <laughs> this is legit. That's what I said. Well, they called me up saying, okay, enough is enough. <laughs> oh, they thought it was us again. <laughs> yeah. And I said, what are you talking about? And they told me all about it. And um, they're actually... There's somebody in Mascuda that's seen the same thing, and somewhere else oh, in uh, another part of Missouri. Uh -huh. So they're going to do this, and they're going to do a reenactment. Uh, you, a reenactment? Oh, you have got to promise to let us know when that airs. Cause we I will. Let everybody know. By the way, if you go to our website at stephendc.com, look over to the right, and you click on Sham of the Week, you'll hear your parents' phone sham was so good. we got so many requests. It's the Sham of the Week on our website. <laughs> So let them know. Well, they've, they've, uh, they've definitely hit the big time now, Shelly. That's yeah. for sure. Hey, well, thank you. And you call us back. Let us know when it's on TV. Okay, I will. All right, bye-bye. We -bye. Bye -bye. might have to get Mom and Dad in uh, Stephen D.C. T-shirts. Well, maybe not. Yeah.